Other side trend lines is the fourth way of using these, um, this indicator. We can draw trend lines just like we draw trend lines with the price. And once these trend lines are broken, that means the price and the RSI will change direction. Okay, <coughs> we have a falling trend line here. And once we started trading above the trend line, the RSI started rising and the price started rising. Just look at this unbelievable entry, maybe around here at, during this candle. And imagine what kind of profit, amazing profit, you would have booked in if you have got in the market once this trend line is broken to the upside, once the RSI is trading above uh, this trend line. Another situation, this is another trend line, the price breaks here, and this is this is even hard to, to believe because the entry point here is almost exactly at the lowest candle, during the lowest candle in this falling move. So you are getting in at an unbelievable price and you are riding this move. Depending on your target, could be here, could be here, could be here. In all cases, you are making good profit. This is the third case and also a very, very interesting case. Once we uh, start moving below this rising trend line on the RSI, the price it starts falling. If you take, if you have took a sell, a sell position, a short position around here, you will be a very happy trader here and here and here and here. And finally, the divergence. What do I mean by divergence or what does uh, an indicator price diverge, divergence mean? It means that uh, First of all, we have to know that the RSI and price are always expected to move hand in hand. When the RSI reaches a new high, a new top, the price is expected to do so. When it reaches a new bottom, the price is expected to do so. But once that changes, that is called divergence. If the price reaches a new low uh, compared to the previous bottom, but the RSI does not reach a new low compared to the previous bottom. That is what we call a bullish divergence. Look at the direction of the price for this specific uh, area and the direction of the RSI for the same area. We have a bottom here, a bottom here. The bottoms on the RSI are rising. The bottoms on the price are falling. And uh, this is one of the strongest strength indications. So when the RSI refuses to go to a new law in spite of the price reaching a new law, that means that the strength is about to appear in the market. As you can see from the second button, which we witnessed this divergence on, the price started rising. This is the pound uh, for our chart. And I also took this early this morning. If you have, um, got in the market when this candle closed here, you would have been making just a little bit less than 100 pips of profit in these areas. That's that's amazing, right? Don't you think that 70 or 80 pips in 24 hour trade or 48 hour trade is something that a lot of people dream of and by using these simple techniques that I will be teaching you all this week, you will be able to do this again and again and again. If the divergence happens on the other side of the chart, it's called a bearish divergence. Okay. The bearish divergence happens when the price reaches a new high, but the RSI refuses to reach a new high compared to the previous top. So uh, around here we had a top. This is the... New Zealand dollar for our chart. Uh, we have a top around here early in June, and then we have another top like a week later. The RSI did top with the first price top, but on the second one, it refuses to go higher and it goes lower. And you can see what kind of collapse that caused. We have dropped... Uh, 
probably 170, 180 pips, which is more than 2.5% on this uh, pair. So, with that, we have covered uh, all the ways that are used to, uh, to use the RSI as a tool for market entrance. Before we talk about the technique in specific, I just want to say one last thing, and that is there is a huge misconception about RSI. Uh, and this misconception has caused countless losses, uh, especially to the new guys or to people who uh, read about RSI for a little while, but they do not go uh, deep enough with their knowledge about this very strong indicator. To me, I call it the king of indicators. Uh, it is my favorite, has been for many years. Of course, everybody has a favorite. Yours could be anything else, and that's fine. To me, this is a strong indicator, a great indicator when you know how to use it, and it can help you improve your trading results in a way that you cannot even begin to dream of. But, of course, in order to use these tools with their full strength, you need to know enough about them. You cannot just go and read uh, a page or two about RSI and think that you will be uh, an RSI magician, <laughs> the master of RSI. So, uh, the misconception is that when the price goes into the uh, uh, oversold or overbought area, it is time to go in the market. And that could not be more wrong. That is not the case. It should not be the case. No one should follow this advice that everybody was told and everybody talked about this. Oh, it's oversold. Go buy it. It's overbought. Sell it. But that in itself is not a reason to get in. The RSI gives you an indication of the situation in the market. Is it overbought? Is it oversold? Overbought situation can carry on for a long time. And if and oversold, of course. If you get in the market while it is oversold and the oversold condition continues to be for a few days, you may be suffering a huge loss of hundreds of pips. And you say to yourself, but I did nothing wrong. It was oversold. I bought when it was oversold. I did nothing wrong. Why does this happen to me? You did everything wrong. You should not buy just because our size and oversold. And everybody or anybody who says this to you, tell them to stop spreading this myth immediately. So, uh, as you can see here, the, uh, the RSI dropped to the oversold zone and the price dropped with it, which is normal, of course. But if you decide to jump in just when the price uh, got into the oversold area here, you would be crying <laughs> on these levels. This is the, uh, the dollar yen chart, hourly chart, and it's a recent chart. This move is the latest drop on the spare. And if you got in here, imagine buying around 740, for example, and seeing the price touching 550. That is 190 pips against your position. That is scary. So what, what should we do to avoid getting caught in positions like this, buying in this area? by looking at this uh, RSI reading, and we assume that this is enough for us to buy. What can we do to stop this from happening to us and get our results better and better? Well, there is one thing, and one thing only, and it's very simple. You just need to treat the RSI indicator as one tool and a set of tools, and you need to Clear your mind uh, from this myth. Take it away from your method of trading. That when RSI gets into the oversold, it's time to buy. When it gets into the overbought, it's time to sell. Just eliminate this. Delete it from your mentality completely. And use a different way to look at the RSI. The RSI gives you an indication of something that could happen very soon or could happen soon, not very, maybe after a few days. So you don't want to be caught in a bad situation for uh, days. 
if we see the price goes into the oversold, we do not buy. We wait for signs of uh, strength before we uh, take our long position. Okay?